All right, guys, that was just a sneak peek. I'm in Taos, New Mexico. I want to give you guys an update that I'm doing well and Sheila is doing well, and I'm enjoying this beautiful weather in the mountains. Um, this video that you're about to watch is kind of long. I broke it up in segments in the bottom of the timeline. So if you get to a part that you're not interested in, feel free to skip around. Um, but this is this video has a lot in it all the way to the end. So please don't click off. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me. On the road, headed back to New Orleans. Driving in the country, past old timey scenes. Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Looks like Wiley got him a propane tank. Dang, that's huge. Is that what that is? A propane tank? That's Alfred. Yeah. Everywhere I go, there's turkeys. <laughs> I made it to Altruistic Farmstead. Hey, guys. And, and working with Wiley. Yep. yep. Had to say that. So, <laughs> all right, guys, it's getting pretty late. I don't know how much we're gonna film tonight, but uh, I'm at least gonna let them put a sticker on the bus. But they're nice stickers. Yep. Try not to have any air bubbles in there. Sweet. <laughs> it's a fully operational. I mean, it was uh, it was driven and parked where I picked it up. Wow. Dump truck. So that's a dump bed. Yep. Two speed rear end. Two speed rear end. Yep. Uh, six cylinder. I can't remember the size. Two thirty five probably. No, it was a weird size. Oh. Like Two thirty two or something. Oh yeah. Can I open it? Yeah. Probably wasp or no? No. Shouldn't be. The engine was stuck, so I soaked it good. Uh -huh. And got it all broke free the other day, and nice. I still have him mess with it. Since. Yeah. I love inline sixes, man. They're tough. Still got a button starter this year, yes, or it does. yeah, floor still got starter. A button starter. Yeah. Well, a floor. Yeah. Yeah. Floor pedal. These tires had been setting. Split rims. Yeah. Yeah. A little over twenty years, and we put air in them and drug it home. Is that crazy, <laughs> dude? I love the riding on the side. That was actually our buddy's business. I mean, that's a local wow. business here in the town. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Come all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell but Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hill Flowers grow. Well, he met in the springtime. Sun sing. Two star crossed a level in the still melting snow. Where the loving was easy and the courting was brief. There they called her a bee, called him a thief. In the quiet of the end, they'd steal away. Where the laughter would flow, and the fiddle would play. Keep going. Where the folks called it wrong. But hell, it seemed all wrong. Two more for it. In the sun painted picture. In the day Come up on the inches We'll have a time. You'll bring the kisses, honey. I'll bring the wine. Lord, thank you for the food in front of us. Lord, thank you for the food in front of us. Friends and family beside us. The friends and family beside us. The love between us. The love between us. Thank you for helping us all get along. Thank, thank you for helping, helping us all get along. Amen. 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 When one walks back home, honey, only 
one knows it all. Well, she walked up the hillside, lone one day. Nothing's wrong with that, Sheila. I just needed to drive a Chevrolet again. I'm teasing, but uh, Jen and Wiley let me use their van so I could run to town, uh, to Oklahoma City with, and go to the camera shop. I saved some money before I left for a camera and a lens. Uh, I knew I needed to make the investment now while I had the opportunity and be able to take good photos while I'm on this trip. The camera I got takes good photos, but it's really, really old and it needs an upgrade. I will not drop you, little cannon. 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 All right, guys, I'm headed back to Jen and Wiley's. Um, we got a lot of work to do and I'm holding them up, but I needed to get over here and get this camera because they were holding it for me. Whenever we get back, I'll show you guys some of the features and give you a better look at it. So now I can flip this around and see myself while I'm filming. Mostly I'm going to use this for a photo camera, but it does take good video, so if I ever do need to, at least I can see what I'm filming and make sure I'm in the frame and stuff. Pretty dang cool. And it was used, I got a good deal on it used, and uh, I mean there's not a scratch on it, so not bad at all. I haven't taken a shower in a day or two, so I better get some water going before I start stinking. I don't wear deodorant, so you can get out of hand if you're not careful. They've got a host situation set up right here. I'm just gonna hold it in place of that one, get it topped off. This is a nice bench that Wiley made. Tough enough, dude. All right, guys, today's project is this crew cap square body like my yellow one. Love to have something like that. This is tough, man. I've never even seen this bed right here. It's a cool one. I need more trucks. What badge was you saying? That Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, that three by three. Turkey with pepper jack cheese. Wonderful. All right, this little square body we're working on has an LS motor. What is this thing out of? Uh, that 05 school bus right there. Oh, yeah. 05. This is a 6 0? 6 0, yep. Yep, so this is the big Chevy motor. Uh, electronic fuel injection, everything like that. Runs off a computer, you got all this wiring and stuff. But over here, there's a real motor. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is freaking beautiful. It'll brock intake performer on it, it'll brock valve covers. Yep. That's a pretty one. 010 block. 
Yeah, that's beautiful. That serpentine system on the front, man. All right, guys, so I've been watching Wiley work on that truck. I hadn't done much, but uh, we needed an extra brake line. So I called someone and had them bring it out here. They sure did send a cute parts lady. That's a brake line. Thank you. Hi, Lila. Go park behind that K5 blazer that I wish I had. How's it like to know that you can change your own tire now, bud? How's it feel? Dad, how's it feel to know that you'll never have to change another tire for him again? Um. <laughs> All right, guys, so we actually came over here to work on, on uh, Wiley's uncle's square body, like I showed you guys, but uh, now we're going to take a tour around. He's got some old rigs around here, and uh, one of them I'm rather fond of, or a couple, a couple of them I'm rather fond of. 68. 66. No, 66. Yeah. Old straight eight. Years. Let's see what else we can find. Impala. Eesh. Whoa, we're talking 67? Nah, yeah, probably. It's around in there. Uh, Old straight eight or Buick special straight eight. Let's have a look at that one. That's 283 or 327 one. It's gotta be 327. Oh yeah. Is this one called for, I'm sure? AC call. No. What? All right, guys, so I've been having this one in my back pocket for a little while. Um, Wiley told me about this bus last year at Shoot Dang, um, earlier this year at Shoot Dang, and we tried to get out here and get the thing before I uh, hit the road, but we weren't able to, so anyway, we're here now. We're going to check it out for the first time. I'm going to pay the fella for it, and uh, Russell will help me get it home whenever, we get a t whenever I get back from my trip, so... Uh, it's a 66 Chevy school bus as far as I know. It's either four five six right in there anyway. Yeah, yeah, and um, Yeah, we all we've seen is pictures of the outside We've never seen the inside of it So I'm gonna give you all a quick walk around and then we're gonna check it out um, The Volkswagen's great, but there's not a whole lot of room in there for you know If you wanted to take a couple people with you, so we're gonna deck this thing out hopefully next year and um, Hopefully try to get it on the road <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right Looks like one, two, three, four, five windows. Four passenger windows and one that doesn't open. Um, it does have an engine. Uh, got the old ram horns on there. And uh, old points style distributor. Yeah, is that a two barrel, I guess? Yeah. yeah. And single brake master, dude. Yeah, right. It's got a little rot here, but they all rot lit here. It's tough. <laughs> Dang. Even the windshields are good. That's yeah, I had noticed glass. that in the picture. It's flat glass, but I mean, yeah, they... still, it's a lot of glass. Still says school bus up top there. Those lights look like they've been replaced. Those lenses are nice. Got a roof rack on top.
But this is one of my favorite junk. Is this thing called for or just holding on to it? I'm pretty sure it's called for. I'm pretty sure I like that bumper. Yeah. yeah. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. So I came here to buy one vehicle. Mm -hmm. I just bought this one time. <laughs> and it's on loan. I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> I don't have to pay for it till the fall. So but tough enough. It's got a Pierce winch on it. It's already set up. It's got a nice nice metal bed on it. And you can see the dash has been ripped out, but the cluster's right there. He's gonna rub it for parts. 350 Chevy motor, no AC, just heater. Complete motor, he said carpet for trash. It runs and drives. Oh. Lime green, so that means that's an accurate Yeah. I love the color. I am proud to announce that I just bought another car too, so let's go have a look at it. You look good on me? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's around 67, I could be wrong. I'm not real good on my early year, but uh, yeah, I just bought this old Impala. Um, it's also on loan, I gotta pay for it when I get back from my trip. I told him I better hang on to my dollars right now, but yeah, bought a four door Impala. I showed you guys a little bit of it, but uh, I'll give you a better look now that I'm super excited about it. Got a pretty gnarly dent back here, but it's not in this line, which is the real big deal. Yeah, it'll probably come out. I 
feel like this sucker is spinning in there. That's what I was wondering if it was going to or not. This car's junk. Don't judge me. <laughs> I promise this car's junk. If it wasn't, I'd be taking more of it. <laughs> Brand new bumper for Lila's Beetle. It's a tough little bumper right there. Oh. I told you that thing would get you on it. <laughs> built this. This is Keiko. Yeah, that's Keiko. But we just, we don't know we just built this. We have kind of semi-automatic feeders up here. I don't know if y'all can see it. But it's a piece of PVC pipe that we fill up and it feeds a box down here and it has just like a little round cutout on the bottom of it so the food goes out and then we just make little makeshift caps for it to keep it dry in case it rains but so far it's been really really good and we are going on three weeks without having to fill that up so it has made our daily chores so much easier and then we also hooked them up with this automatic watering system where we have a five gallon bucket over here so we have a five gallon bucket up there that's fed by this water hose and then obviously it comes down and splits around both ways and it's a complete closed circuit and then this hose leads over to our quail so they have automatic water too so in these two cages right here these are two of the rabbits that we got from walker farm fam this is bahama mama and blue bonnet <laughs> I was drawing a blank for a second and she's got two little babies in there still that are as sweet as can be. Yes. Lila, would you like to hold a baby bunny? Yes. Yes, we finally got a new trampoline. That's our dog Lola. She's a little sweet dog. These are silver fox rabbits. Is that pig? This is Bourbon. He's a cooney cooney. I can hardly climb a tree, okay? Yeah. He likes no, to no, no, don't do that. Just let him do his thing. He likes to swim in the pond. Over here we have our baby turkey. Yep, oh. he took the camera in there and so took her out. She's kind of hiding over there. She's not exactly a baby anymore, but we hatched her. One of our neighbors gave us some turkey eggs and we decided to throw a couple of them in the incubator. And that was the result. We only had one and she's it. But she's also set up on a automatic water system. This hose goes over there to feed that little pool thing for the animals to drink out of or the cooney coonies to go swimming in. Um, but this PVC, connects to the same pipe out here that the rabbits and quail do. Right here is where we keep a lot of our feed. Um, that way it's easy to get to for all of the animals. So we have the rabbit food, the dog food, and then the crumbles for the uh, for the turkey and the guineas, or in the quail. Yep, well there's whiskey and bourbon together. Whiskey? They are the best of buds. <laughs> Y'all can keep that buddy if you want. 
<laughs> but, there are dogs. It's dinner time. You and me so. out. At this rate, with feed costs, uh, we just kind of feed everybody the same thing. So we have this giant bowl. We just dump some out here for these guys. Next, we go to the cows. Oh my gosh! Is it empty? Oh, you found it. <laughs> There's been a chicken laying eggs in this feed barrel. Look. The glory of having free range chickens, you find eggs everywhere. It's like an Easter egg hunt every single day. Yeah. <laughs> this is Homer and Butter. Yeah, they're oh, Homer. They're so Here's Butter. We got them as bottle calves in the beginning. Oh, are you guys hungry? Here. Here you want one? <laughs> His tongue feels Here. like sandpaper. Nope. Okay. We're just going to do it the easy way. Abby, no. Friday, no. Don't do that. Hey, Abby's old house. house. Here's Abby's old house. Sometimes he doesn't like to share. <laughs> well, well, why are you in there? He goes in there every single day. You gotta go back in there. You know how to get in and out. So these are our goats. We have Chanel, Coco, Jeb, Prada, and Abby. So the goats are also hooked up on the same automatic water system as the rest of the animals. And so Wiley just used this black hose that we had and he put screwed a little tiny hole in the end of that. And so we just crank it on low in the morning and it keeps all the animals fresh cold water all day long. So it has been awesome and it's been working out really good for us so far. Are you hungry? There's Petunia the mama and the And give Porky half the bowl. So these guys are also set up on the same water system. Hello, ma'am. And but up here they have a sprinkler, so it feeds. He knocked his his water bowl out of the way again. But he's over there taking a shower right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they have a sprinkler, so it helps keep them cool during the day. And that T-shaped thing is designed to keep their water buckets full, also. Yeah. But he keeps on moving. Hey, little porky. Hello. Hey, 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 get out of here. The ducks are always up in his business. We had a feeder in there for him and he keeps destroying them. So now we just feed him on that rock. Much than not enough. Well, I tried to keep my thermos grown up, up with grass. Yeah, don't go over there because you don't know if there's any snakes or anything over there. So this is the beginning of our wood pile. Um, it smells use, good over here. Yeah, it does. So all these little thin pieces should make good firewood. Um, but we're also going to have logs and stuff too. This is just the beginning of it. Because we finally got our wood stove installed and up and running. Yay. Um, at the end of the winter. <laughs> we only got to use it a couple times. So we're really looking forward to being able to save on our heating bills this winter by stocking plenty of firewood. Hi, I'm Rebel with Fortress Creations and Concepts and we build hot rods and sandblasting and powder coating. And I'm Felicia. There we go. That's handwriting award. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why I had her do it. Thank y'all. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I thought you were the only sad okay. thing is the bones aren't. Uh, you need a real plate. <laughs> yeah. The bones are too hard. Through spatial, he gets a real plate. <laughs> oh yeah.
Fortress Creations yeah, and Concepts. Concept. Yeah, this was going in their garden and they donated it to me, so I will be eating that. All right, guys, it's late and dark, but I got my new camera today and I never got to play with it, so I wanted to come out. The sky is uh, a little crazy with clouds, so uh, I'm gonna go back to that 57 Chevy that we looked at the flatbed truck when we first got here. I'll show you again, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try to take some photos and see if we can get a cool moon shot with it and just test out the new camera. That looks great. All right, guys, well, it's already one o'clock in the morning, but I had to at least come and take a couple photos. Uh, I really like that old truck, and I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, I need to get a picture of that, and then full moon just kind of lined up with it. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna crash for the night, and we're serving in the morning, so we'll see you then. What are we cooking, Wiley? Spaghetti. Nice. So, that's 10 pounds of hamburger meat. There's already 10 pounds in the sauce. All right. That's three big buckets of noodles. All right, got everything cooking up. Yep. I'm being dead. 
So we got everybody fed out here and um, Wiley's just making up the rest of the food into go boxes. Some of these guys want to take some extra meals with them. So, and they probably got friends and stuff that didn't make it they can pass on to. Yeah, so. we have uh, Thomas was one of our really, I mean, he was here dedicated here and he's got cancer. And we've got one of the guys that takes him boxes whenever they leave here. Beautiful. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so this out here is called the Porch House. They make sack lunches, and then people can just come and get sack lunches and uh, hang on to them. So they got a fresh meal here, but they've also got a sack lunch they can take with them. Man, I always had stories about the city lines and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. People I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, bread race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name My friends are still the same Cool, bro. Thank you. Heck yeah. Yes. I'll pass it out. Actually, I'll put it on a sign somewhere. There you go. Boom, boom. Hell yeah, bro. Y'all be good. You want to sign? Of course. Yes, ma'am. All right, cool. cool. Y'all be good, man. We'll see you again. All right. Hey, we'll be back around probably the fall. We'll come see y'all again. Uh huh. Yeah. A couple of the guys that uh, we were serving with, they they uh, wanted to sign the bus, and heck yeah, dude, y'all can sign the bus. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up. Let's go talk to uh, Jen and Wiley, and um, see what they got accomplished today. Picking up trash. Getting her all cleaned up. Thank yes, you. Sir. I'm from Texas. Don't mess with Texas. That's right. <laughs> they train us. They they teach us. They That's right. Brainwash us. Do not mess with Texas. That's right. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, we got everybody fed. How many plates do you think that we made today? I'd say we probably served about a hundred. Very uh, close to a hundred. We had thought we were done, so we packed up the rest of it take home and then people just kept slowly trickling in uh, asking if there was any left and so we gave it away till there wasn't any more to give away yeah that's awesome so what was the what was the total pounds of meat that you put in Wiley uh, it was 20 pounds of meat um, nine pounds of spaghetti noodles, noodles. Uh, let's see six gallons of sauce um, seven loaves of like french loaves for bread well, but that was split in half so that was double yeah. that right yeah we so, have seven whole loaves so that was a whole lot of pieces yeah everybody um, was getting two or more pieces of bread each but they were little yeah and they had some fresh cantaloupe too that you guys cut fresh up yeah. yeah the yeah. community market which is our local food bank called us uh last week or at the end of last week and said that they were they had a bunch of cantaloupe um, and some other stuff, so we went and picked it up, and we used it today. Yep. And that was some good stuff. It was good ripe cantaloupe. Yep. So where is this place at here? This is the Emanuel Episcopal Church in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Um, we are not affiliated with the church. We are our own organization, but the church allows us to come in and use their facilities, which is an absolute blessing for us as well as everybody we everybody, serve. Yeah. Because when we started this, we were serving across the street in the park. And you know, it got hot, it got cold. Sometimes we were out there serving food in the rain. 
And when people are counting on a good meal, you can't just not show up because you don't feel like it or because the weather's bad. So we just weather it out. And, you know, we had smaller crowds those days, but people still came to eat. Okay, so then the, some folks from the church approached us after that meeting, and they said, hey, we have this giant kitchen that we just remodeled. Um, why don't you guys come use it? It's here for the community to use. And so uh, we worked together. We built a relationship with the folks here at this church. And this has just been a blessing. Yeah. So, and they love what we do. They're happy to let us be in here. And now, uh, when we were serving in the park, we were probably serving 20 or 30 people, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and now we serve about 100 every week. So it's it's growing, which is good and bad. Um, you know, we don't ever want to think of more people being homeless or more people being hungry than were before. But the fact that, like, it makes our hearts happy to feed people. And even though it sounds kind of dumb, we get kind of excited when that number is higher each week just because we feel like we're reaching more people because it's not just about a meal. It's also about, you know, showing the love of Christ through actions you know we're not here to preach to them we're here to talk crap and treat them like their family yep and so that's and they love it there's lots of them that we've built a good relationship with that we look forward to seeing every week yep so that's awesome we well <laughs> i'll say this we had their normal crew plus me Lindsay, and lila and it was a lot of work i mean even just with uh, with all of us, so I couldn't imagine when they have half the crew. It's got to be a ton of work, and you guys are really committed to it. Like you said, you show up every week. You know, even if you don't want to, there's people that are hungry, and that's what touches your heart. So, uh, I say it was a real blessing seeing everybody. Um, the people were uh, very nice. They were uh, yes sir, no sir, thank you so much. They all pitched in and cleaned around, made sure the tables were wiped down, picked up trash. People were carrying trash out, picking trash out of the parking lot for the church. So. Um, these are great people. They're just hungry, and uh, Jen and Wiley go out of their way to uh, to make sure they eat. So, thank you guys. And um, thank you guys for coming along and giving us a hand today. Yes, yeah, we had a blast. I don't think we've ever gotten done this early. No. Yeah. Awesome. Usually we're here for another couple hours cleaning up. So, but yeah, we get to go spend time, spend more time with you guys. Heck now. yeah. So. All right, guys, we're heading to their house. We're gonna do a house tour of their place, and then we gotta head out. How's it going? Good, come on in. All right. Let's show you guys our little house. Awesome. So, this is our kitchen. This is where the magic happens. Uh, you know, when we first started our journey, or our, our mission, uh, this is where we cooked everything. All together, our house is roughly 500 square feet. And um, I think we've done a pretty good job at using our space wisely. So everything hangs up because we don't have any drawers or cabinets. Um, and then we just kind of, you know, did what we could with what we have because that's what we do. But. super awesome. Uh, we got the, the spray foam insulation that helps a lot. So that's also heater. So we have electric heat, we have gas heat, and now we have a wood stove too. Our water, our tankless water heater, best investment ever. Uh, this way, above the kitchen, is mine and Wiley's room. You get up there by going up those stairs behind the refrigerator, and there's a little pantry space behind the fridge, behind the ladder. Uh, but we have to climb up through that little hole, and that's our bedroom up there. So we spent 
been rarely any time in the living room, so we got rid of all the couches. We built this dining table. Dining table, and that's all we ever use. Uh, the kids watch a little bit of TV now and then, but we rarely ever spend any time in there. So. The kids have hammocks to hang out in. And that's our makeshift couch. <laughs> And the dog. Yeah. So over here, um, this is four bedrooms. There's two downstairs and two upstairs. There's a wall that splits them in the middle. And if you guys want to see what we're doing with this space, you'll have to come over to one of our channels because um, that's going to be a future project. But we have other arrangements for the two older kids. And so we are taking out the center wall in here and building a full-size bedroom for us because having to climb so, up in that little hole is getting harder and harder all the time. Drew's gonna have to duck to walk in here because when my dad came and helped me build this, he didn't make it for tall people. So, <laughs> the bathroom's not finished yet, but here's the bathroom. Uh, normally we have our composting toilet in here, but it's outside being cleaned right now. And our bathtub is an old cattle trough that is recessed in the floor. Um, Here's our back door, and then if you turn this way, this goes into our laundry room, and we added this on last year. We have a video of this on our channel uh, from about a year ago, I think. So our washer and dryer were in the bathroom, and we decided we needed more room, so we used the sawmill, and we added this, and it has been a lifesaver because all the kids' clothes go in this dresser, and then all of our clothes go over here in this little section and um, we just have to live minimally because we have minimal space, but we're totally okay doing that. Hey guys, I'm Jen. My channel is Altruistic Farmstead. And I'm Wiley. Working with Wiley is my channel. So. On my channel, it's primarily uh, what we do for our community and farm related stuff. And then on his channel, it's everything that's not that that we do, which you never know what it's gonna, what it's gonna be. It's the sawmill work, all of our side jobs, uh, you know, we I work on old cars. Uh, Redneckery. You just never know what's gonna be on there. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff, so. My channel is everything that we do for our community, and his is everything that we do other than that. Um, we have we live in central Oklahoma. We've been here, he's been here his whole life. Um, I'm a transplant to Oklahoma, and we've been on our current property since 2018, and we've turned it into a little homestead. Yeah, we've got about a little less than seven acres. We've got a 500 square foot tiny home. There's that. six people that live here with, or I mean, us and four kids. Yep. Uh, it's a tight space, but we love it. Like, we really wouldn't live any other way. Ages range, for, ages range from seven to 17. And they're all homeschooled. So they're all homeschooled, yep. Yeah, we're always teaching them different skills, like how to run the sawmill, how to build things, how to work on cars. Um, and there's a lot of educational value that comes with those things. Yep. So. You'll get to see a lot of that on my channel. Yeah, right, because that's the whole working with Wiley thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have one more plug to put in there. So, as you can see, when we were walking around, uh, the inside of the house is not finished. It is at a point where we're comfortable, and so it just hasn't been high enough on the priority list to finish it. But what our plan is, is our son Michael uh, when we were still working full time, he put all of this uh, old fence w wood on the walls. And it looks great. Uh, wow. And Emily helped. But we decided that we were going to take that down and replace it with cedar that we've milled. So we will be sawing cedar on the sawmill and making new boards to put up. What are we on doing this. on the bottom half? Uh, it's going to be what. What they call a Wayne's coat of about three feet is going to be the old barn tin. Um, so follow along and you can watch all that progress happen. Yeah, and on the ceiling we're going to do the shiny new metal so it's not too dark in here. 
But when we ever finish it, it's going to be nice. <laughs> what do you have there? That's Hedgy. <laughs> She's cranky. <laughs>